The debate continues over the disputed finalized plans for the new library building in Lilacia Park between the Park District and the Helen Plum Library Board following the September 19th expansion proposal at the park board meeting. Hopefully we can all agree that that one area uh, would not necessarily be any detriment at all to the park. Last November, voters approved a property tax increase in order to replace the Helen and Plum Memorial Library building. However, Lilacia Park District will not give the library officials permission to build due to a dispute over air rights. Lilacia Park District has given the library land on several occasions, including in 1963, where the current library is built, and 1977, when they expanded the first floor and added the roof plaza that overviews the park, and finally in 2007, when they added a driveway. Lilacia Park District has offered to do a land swap so that the library could have an alternate site. Well, right now, the library doesn't really have any intention of relocating. Uh, we've made it very clear. Our board has made it very clear. Uh, the voters have made it very clear that this is the location that Colonel Plum had designated this park and this library for the community. Colonel William Plum donated his estate for the original public park and library when he died in 1927. If the agreement goes through with the park district, the Helen Plum Library intends to add a driveway service as well as an entrance closer to the parking lot. In the new building, there will be a child area and a teen area on the lower level as well as the technology and on the upper level, a nice quiet reading area for the adults. For IMS News, I'm Jinx Scott.